Let's start with Credit Suisse. They're meeting right now. Right. Well, what's happening? So Credit Suisse's board is meeting. Remember what happened was tensions really escalated last week after Iqbal Khan, their star private wealth banker, left for UBS. They were worried that he was going to maybe take some clients among other state secrets. <laughs> and so now you had, remember, the Zerk prosecutors got involved. God knows what else could happen in terms of legal ramifications, but the board is looking at the role of all the senior executives. The CEO, Tijin Tiam, also has a big issue here, but the COO is really in the hot seat, Pierre Olivier Bouy. So the board is backing him. David Harrow, the biggest shareholder, is backing him. Right. Well, what I read over the weekend, too, is that there's a debate as to how much of it was personal between Khan and Tian. They have, like, houses in Zurich together, right. and it might have been, like, a personal fight between the two. How does that story play into all this? It doesn't look good, right? Because that's certainly an issue. They, people have known, it's been kind of an open secret in Zurich okay. for a while now, that the two of them really weren't getting along for some time, really for, for many, many months. And so when he he left, the, if there's kind of a whiff of this being personal at all, it's just not going to be, it's not going to look good if TM also had involvement in this scandal. Here's the really silly question. Mm -hmm. um, is what they did actually, like, illegal? As we were talking about, like, no joke. I was like, well, I could find someone and ask them right. to follow my husband, and I wouldn't. That wouldn't be criminal. Right. Well, <laughs> I mean, unless you're not B and E. I think there's a there's a lot under the surface here that hasn't come out yet. Remember, Zurich prosecutors did get involved. We don't know where they stand in this whole issue. Remember, the investigation that we're talking about is a Credit Suisse board-led issue, right? The investigation mm -hmm. we're talking about, and so for the board to back. The CEO, based on their own investigation, is one thing. But if there's any kind of, um, you know, if the prosecutor says something else, or if Iqbal Khan himself decides to sue, we don't know what UBS will decide to do. Also, remember, he's going to mm -hmm. UBS. He starts in October, and so there could be a little bit more at at play here if this continues.